According to the Sacramento Bee, after several days of intense negotiations, George Carl will take over as the Kings head coach after this weekend's NBA All-Star break. The official announcement has been posted uh, to avoid detracting, has not been posted just yet, to avoid detracting from DeMarcus Cousins' All-Star debut. Earlier this week, uh, there were rumors that Cousins was the one standing between Carl's hire, and Cousins quickly refuted that, saying, quote, I don't fire coaches or hire them. Everyone knows I liked and respected Coach Malone. I didn't want Malone's firing in December to happen. I'm not involved in any coaching decisions right now. I've heard that George Carl is a great coach. If that is the direction that the organization chooses, I'll support it. However, George Carl hasn't coached a big man since uh, his days with Sean Kemp in Seattle. Wow. Here's the question. Will George Carl and Cousins work well together? Stephen A. I believe they will. Um, I think that George Carl uh, sometimes gets a bad rap because obviously back in the 80s when he was coaching in Cleveland, uh, you know, there, there were questions about how he handled guys and what have you. Um, I thought he sort of put that to bed when he went to Seattle and he coached Gary Payton and Sean Kemp um, and, and coached them to the finals. They just ran into Jordan and that wasn't going to happen. Uh, when he coached in Denver, obviously there were some issues from time to time with Carmelo, but they had, at one time, they had Carmelo, they had J.R. Smith and Allen yeah. Robinson on the same squad. I mean, Kenyon Martin as well. Ain't the easiest job in the world, you know. And all of those brothers, I love them. I know them personally. But the point is, is that their personality and how they are, how they stood up for themselves, how they spoke out, uh, that, 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 that's a dicey proposition for most coaches. Here's the reality of the situation. George Call is an exceptional basketball mind. He knows the game of basketball. His pedigree is unquestionable, and he knows the NBA better than most. Could there potentially be problems with DeMarcus Cousins? I think to some degree DeMarcus Cousins gets a bad rap. His body language yep. can be a bit, you know, it, it, it puts you off a little bit. You know, he seems, to, you know, he, he don't mess around. He don't play around. He definitely he has, he appears to have some mood swings. You know, we all know the situation that occurred with him confronting Sean Elliott and all of this stuff. And we, we get all of that. But, but he's young. And, you know, John Calipari speaks very, very highly of him. A lot of folks close to him speak very highly of him. I'm definitely high on his game because I know the brother can play, and I think he's the best big man in the game of basketball. And I think that there is a hunger and a willingness to win. They're 18 and 34 right now. They're 16 games under 500. And I think that if you tell DeMarcus Cousins that we're bringing in a coach that we believe can teach you how to win basketball games on this level because he's been losing since they got into the NBA, I think he'll be receptive to that. Now, that doesn't mean you can go up to him and talk to him any old which way, yeah. you know, and make him feel disrespected. Marcus Cousins ain't going for that. I can tell you that right now. That ain't going to happen. But I don't believe that George Call would do that. I do believe that George Call will challenge him to be better and to do things for the betterment of the team. Last time I checked, that's coaching. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what he and this relatively young Sacramento King squad des desperately needs. And right now, Darren Collison being out, what have you, I mean, that doesn't help matters either. But I think George Call's the right guy for the job, and I think mm -hmm. he'll do a good job. Mm -hmm. I hear you. I'm going to go a step farther on this. If this does not work, I'm going to say it will be George Carl's fault if it doesn't work. You know how much I believe in DeMarcus Cousins. Yes, sir. I took a lot of heat before that draft. I said DeMarcus Cousins will be a better NBA player than his teammate John Wall. And I stand by that, and I think it's being proven night after night after night. By the way, John Wall's a terrible shooting jag where he's missing a lot of late shots. But yes. That's all another issue. Yes. I had, a, I had a good talk with DeMarcus when we were out in L.A. in the summertime. I looked in his eyes, and you can sort of see through those window panes into what's inside a guy. His heart is in the right place. Has he had trouble letting his emotions run amok with him? You better believe he has. He's starting to grow up. He's starting to say the right things because I believe in his heart of hearts he wants to do the right things and I believe he wants to be great. And you know and I know he can be just about as great as he wants to be. So in this case, could George teach him a lot? You better believe George could. I love George. You, you know him well. I've, I've known him for a long time. 
The only thing I've ever said about George is he has a big coaching ego. And a lot of it is earned because he's coached 25 years and 22 times he's made the playoffs. And as you know, he made the finals the one time in 96 against, unfortunately, MJ's Bulls. And they lost 4-2 to two, uh, with the Supersonics. So my point is, George, at times, with great players, a Carmelo, maybe an AI, even though he was more at the end of his career, can, can grate on a player's nerves because he keeps saying, in effect, if you just listen to me, I can make you even greater. And there's truth to that, but it depends how you're presenting that to a superstar, as you well know. What I do like about George coming into this situation is that George Carl feared that this, he, he wouldn't get this last chance. What is he, going on 64 years of age? He got a chance with a, a pretty interesting young team. Are they going to shock the world this year? I doubt that. But with DeMarcus to continue to build around and grow around, yeah, I think it's, it's a really good spot for him. So maybe George has sort of mellowed out a little bit here in the time that he spent analyzing from a distance on this network. So, again, may, maybe it's the right place, right time. And I'm hoping that DeMarcus one day, maybe 10, 15, 20 years from today, even though he might have some moments with George that he will not love, that he will look back fondly on this time and say, I did learn a lot from George Yeah, Carl. you can learn a lot from George, and George has to handle it. Now, basically, if I'm to surmise correctly what you're saying, you're basically saying that George has been around the block. George has accomplished all of these things. George knows what it takes. So if this doesn't work with you and DeMarcus, it's your fault because yeah. he has the excuse of youth not knowing better, and yeah. you do. Yeah. I do get that point, and that's a but very But it's good to your point that DeMarcus is getting a bad rap here. I, I don't think he's, he's got a, you know, the, the classic bad-hearted guy. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't view, DeMarcus is rough and tumble, there's no yeah. question about it, but I view him to be the best big man in the game with loads of potential who wants to be great. Yeah. And if he wants to be great, then if you have the ability to show him the light on how to achieve that, sure. then you have an obligation to pull it off. And I think George has got something to prove because obviously when he got dismissed from the Denver Nuggets, he's the coach of the year. Yeah. He's a coach well, of the year. 57 got, and 25. He's coach of the year. But they got bounced got quickly in the that's first right. round. That's right, and because it, it, it happens. And, and we, Warriors, and we yeah. get all of that. Listen, Avery Johnson won 66 games one yeah. year and got bounced in the first. I mean, mm -hmm. this, it, happens. it happens. But the point is that the man can clearly coach. And I think that, you know, he, he's going to be on a mission to prove that he can do it. And I think that this is the right choice by the Sacramento Kings. It's going to be fun to watch. All right. To yeah. our former colleague, we wish you the best, uh, George Carl. Coming up next, we're talking about what will happen after the NBA All-Star break. The Thunder have been rolling and are close to a playoff spot. In fact, just a half game back in that Wild Wild West. Uh, what can we expect from OKC after the All-Star break? We'll be right back in just a few moments.